Thank you. Thank you. I'm Chicano, I'm Don Autumn, I'm from Ajo, Arizona. And I'm uh, the North, North American coordinator for the Peace and Dignity Journeys. And the Peace and Dignity Journeys is a movement um, by indigenous peoples from North, Central, and South America. And it's a movement to unify all peoples, um, indigenous peoples, but not just indigenous peoples, but all peoples of the world. And the run, um, the reason, it's actually a, a spiritual run and it's based on a prophecy, an indigenous prophecy of the coming together of the people of the North, Central, and South, which is a prophecy of the eagle and the condor. And, um, and so the, the run itself, it, it's a methodology for us to uh, reconnect with our traditions and now especially is a really important time to reconnect with our Native American traditions because there's a lot of um, ways that we can uh, learn to navigate the world, how to be good people and just to um, um, have a more just place so we're utilizing the knowledge and the wisdom of our ancestors um, in order to, to not just do this run but just to um, you know, make change in the world. And a lot of people are looking to Native peoples now for help um, because the society now is kind of like a runaway train and just to kind of balance out, reconnect with um, what it is to be human and what it is to be connected with the land and what it is to be connected with them. Um, just like the, 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 the natural world from an indigenous perspective. So the Peace and Dignity Journeys we do um, for seven months we're on the road and we run from community to community. We're going to start May 1st and go to Alaska and there's other people starting in the bottom of Argentina and we're starting uh, you know, again May 1st and we're going to run for seven months until we get to Guatemala and we're going to meet the runners from South America and Guatemala and all the people there are going to be um, focusing on the importance of water water as a, as a resource but also our relationship to water as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a, a force because there's you know water isn't just viewed as an inanimate object it's a, it's a relationship and so it, it's, it's going to communities and with that message. But at the same time, we're, we're learning from communities about what they, what their struggles are, um, how they view the world. And as runners, we're, we're carrying the, their messages to other people. And, and we're, we're working to, that's how we're building that unity, going from community to community, tying people together. So when we get to Alaska, there's going to be people from all over the um, different countries that are going to join us. And... Um, and so here we are, you know, 2012, uh, um, time of change, and, uh, uh, and we're going to draw from the wisdom of our peoples to, you know, to make the change a reality. And how would people get involved or be able to financially support Peace and Dignity Journeys? Yeah, Peace and Dignity, it's, um, it relies on the people. It's not a nonprofit. It's not an organization of any kind. So the reason survives us by the support of the people. And we have a website, and it's www.peaceanddignityjourneys.com. Again, uh, www.peaceanddignityjourneys.com. And if folks want to financially support, we have committees all over, like um, Canada, U.S., Mexico, you know, all over. There's organizing committees because um, we're going to have routes all over. Like, there's, we're going to start in Alaska, but there's going to be um, five routes that are going to um, grow out of that, split off of that. Some are going to come down the West Coast, some are going to go down the, the Midwest, and um, um, out down through Mexico, and then they run together to, you know, to Guatemala. So, um, again, you can go on the website. Um, you can, you can um, support by going to local fundraising events, uh, join a committee, or there's even like such things we can get merchandise online or um, even give, give on PayPal. So um, that's one of the things we really, like right now we had an event um, here, uh, you know, April, April 7th at La Peña, I'm sorry, uh, Eastside Arts Alliance, and the purpose of this event, we're just trying to get money enough to buy an old van and gas money to get runners to Alaska. So we're going to be heading out maybe in two weeks from now to start driving up there. So again, um, it's support from the people that make peace and dignity journeys a reality. 
sweet. Thank you so much, Jose. Thank you.